We've just received two negative results for the additional two close contacts for which we were waiting those results. So that now means the four close contacts uh, that we have identified have all now returned negative tests. That's positive, but of course we still want to take that cautious approach. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, look, I am. I have absolute confidence in our officials, and I was here roughly midnight last night when we were being updated that, for instance, interviewing was still underway. Once they have locations, though, they need to assess uh, whether or not that was a high-risk exposure event, uh, because that changes the ask of the people who are there. So it's not just about knowing the place, they need to do a risk assessment so that they can tell people if you were there, whether or not you need to isolate for 14 days. But again, those businesses don't need to undertake a risk assessment as to whether or not all of the patrons from that site need to isolate for 14 days. Health do have to make that judgment. They've made that judgment and put out that notification um, uh, early this morning. Um, and again, taking into account that they were interviewing right until late into the evening. Jessica. Oh, not at all. Look, we were notified late uh, last night of the case. Interviewing went late into the night. First thing this morning, not only the locations of interest, but very clear instructions as to what we need people to do who are at those locations of interest. Again, um, just to confirm, actually the one positive case involved here is no longer in New Zealand. We've got 48 hours worth of locations where we want to be cautious, and we are being cautious. So at midnight last night I was advised that they were still interviewing and we already had the four close contacts in isolation. Because, and just, oh, just keep in mind, sometimes we're releasing locations of interest over a series of days after multiple interviews. In this case, we had someone who used the QR codes, they could give us places of interest and time. Health then have to assess the likelihood of someone being in that same venue of being at risk. That information was put out first thing this morning. Officials have worked quickly here and I am confident in their response. Lots of locations Yeah. Oh, look, what, what we tend to do is plan for a worst case scenario, um, be cautious in our approach, because you're always better to plan in that way than to have regrets later. So this is a precautionary approach, and I think people appreciate that. Why is it important? Why is it important? Oh, sorry, what was that? I think it's too early to say. Look, we've got our four close contacts now at this stage having tested negative. We do have someone uh, who has been partially vaccinated. There are unknowns here, but in a situation of unknowns, it is best to be cautious. Why well, is it important to tell the locations of interest first uh, before telling the public? Oh, it won't always be the case that we're able to do that. Uh, of course, making sure that we get quickly to those who we know have been at a location of interest, that staff are being isolated, but it won't always be the case that we're able to tell everyone before it's publicly notified. Are you confident that the Ministry of Health has made any in the past when they this morning put out the plus categories and it's been made pretty clear that that will help them to be Oh, uh, look, you know, ultimately the most important thing is the clear advice for people on what they need to do, and that was there. Well, so the, the point is, is that people didn't know what casual class meant. Joe, I've, I've, I've seen the instructions. It was very clear to people. They didn't need to know what that means. They just need to know, as the website very clearly stipulates, if you were in X or Y place, you need to follow the instructions. In some cases, it was 14 days of isolation. In others, it's a shorter period with a test. Uh, look, at this stage, those plans um, continue. Uh, but we keep everything under assessment. Different states currently are in different statuses, of course, because my trip included different states, some of which are not affected at all. Prime Minister.
oh, I will never do anything um, that I consider to be irresponsible or unsafe. That's why we continue to take it under advisement. Okay, last one here. Todd Muller has announced his resignation and he's mentioned how tough politics can be at times. What's your experience of how tough the job can be? Yeah, I would actually, you know, I'd really applaud the fact that Todd has spoken honestly about, you know, some of the challenges of this environment. And it's a lesson for all of us just to always remember that everyone who is here is human. Okay, I better get in the house.